Hello, this is Bruce. I'm back. This is the next uh, session. In the last uh, video, I did a review on the uh, Joshua Fields number 526 um, knife blade, and it fits in this handle, and I tighten it up anyway. What I would like to do is continue here. In the last video, I uh, cut this uh, pancake knife sheath out and now I need a lining so I'm going to use this same material and let's see I'll turn that over like that and use my awl to mark slightly bigger than my sheath there that I've got cut out and what I'll do now is block this out and then I'll use some glue to uh, contact cement to lightly glue around the edge. I'll show you where I mean here. I'll put some glue in this area. I'll take a pencil and put a mark on there, but I want to leave this unglued right here. And what I'll do is uh, pencil mark around that and uh, put some contact cement on there, and then I'll uh, groove it with my stitch groover and sew it on my uh, harness stitcher. I'll show you how I do that. I'll just be putting a little bit of glue around the edge here like that. And um, this is the knife I'm going to make this far. And I've drawn pencil drawn around there basically where I want my stitch, uh, machine stitch right there. So what I can do is take this all and perforate, make some uh, holes to transfer over to this pattern um, and then I'll know where to sew around here plus around the outside. Um, so um, right now I will um, put the glue on here and then uh, stitch groove the sheath and then sew it on the machine. I used master cement to put a coat around the edge on both pieces. Let that sit three or four minutes and then I'll lay that over and uh, like that and tap around it with a hammer over there on my rock to make sure that's um, glued snugly and then uh, be time to sew it. This is a C.S. Osborne scratch compass, and that makes a groove so my machine stitch will kind of sit down in a groove, and that protects the stitches from wear. Now I'll just kind of spread that out like that and I'll kind of freehand this down through here like this. Just like that. Now I'll go over to my 
cowboy harness stitcher over there and sew this. There's a shot of my cowboy harness stitcher right there. That's what I'll be sewing the machine, the stitch with the CB4500. All right. First thing I do is to raise my foot up there, pressure foot, and check my, yep, got a full bobbin. And I'll look at my stitch, yeah, stitch length looks about right. Sometimes it's good to have a, a piece of practice leather if it's been a day or two since you've sewn. And even mock up a couple layers and then make sure your stitch length the way you want it. So I'm going to start, let's see, where do I want to start at? I think I'll just start right here. I'll put my needle down right there, turn the machine on, and I pull my two, uh, my bobbin string back and my top string, make sure it's under the pressure foot there. This machine has a servo motor on it, and I can just go real slow like that. That's one thing I like about it. And then once you get on your straightaway, you can kind of speed up a little bit. I'm going to stop right here for a second and I'm going to pull that loop up like that on this side and then pull the loop right in the middle that kind of gives it a lock stitch and my knife is over here just this is the knife I used to trim my thread off with okay raise my foot up there Okay, I'm going to bring my needle back up, not all the way out of the leather. And then probably overlap that about three stitches. Pull that out. Cut my thread off and pull that loop right in the middle. Now I can tap these stitches down with a hammer like I did when I glued it a while ago. Okay, now I'll take my end punch, punch through there, cut my slot on both of these, cut this outside edge with my uh, little trim knife, and then I'll edge this with a uh, western edger and rub the edges, and uh, then wet this and shape it to fit the knife. I punched my end um, ends like that with my drive punch. I take this 
blade, stick it up in there, and use this top piece as a guide. And just cut my uh, slot out there. Then on the end, on the back, if it's got a little catch like that, it can easily be trimmed out. Just take your trim knife and clean that out on the ends there. I use the top piece as a guide just to put that knife blade right up against that top layer and trim off the bottom. I think you'll see that you can make these fairly, fairly fast. This pancake type knife sheath, which will hold straight blade knives or um, folding knives, and it fits on a belt. Wear it on the side or in the back. It's kind of whittling right there. Now I've got, um, let's see, I think I'm going to use this uh, number two, one it's a number 133, size number two, it's a C.S. Osborne Western Edger, and then I have this Weaver Edger I like, it's a number one, it's for tight corners, and I'll use that on my slots. Kind of turn the corners there. This rounds the edges and gives it a good finish. If you'll uh, take a look at the uh, video before this one, uh, you'll have a little better idea from start to finish. It took um, two videos to get this, this made. Now I'm going to uh, dip this in water, and I've got some uh, wooden rubbing sticks that I will open that up and shape up the knife sheet. Here's my water in my sink here. I've got a sink that I wet my leather in. Just kind of let that soak for a minute or a few seconds i guess now it's ready to rub and shape up this is a piece of burlap bag that i've got some tallow on sometimes i even put the uh 
Phoebe can settle soap on it. But you can rub your wet leather with a burlap bag like this. And it helps this uh, rough grain on the edge there to really slick up. It makes the pores lay down, or the grain lay down. Just have a nicer looking uh, finished product if, when you do this. I'll shape this uh, sheath up, put it in front of the fan, let it dry a while, and then I'll treat it with uh, oil, neat's foot oil or olive oil, either one will work good. Work with it a little bit. This style holster really keeps the knife in there snug, and when it's on your belt, that's what keeps it pretty well locked into your sheath. Appreciate you watching this uh, tutorial. Hope you learned something. Appreciate the thumbs up. You're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, and I'll talk to you in the next video.